So in my last video, I showed how to set uh, VS Codium up on a Linux-based system so that you could use uh, regular compilation and debugging uh, using GCC. However, um, I also pointed out in that video that I did not have CLang, which reminds me that some people might not want to use GCC and might prefer CLang instead. So this time, instead of installing GCC, we'll go ahead and install CLang. Or Clang, I guess, if you prefer to say it that way. Uh, now, I think this takes an extra second here. Oh, no, not too bad. Okay, so now that's installed. But as you can see, we still have no, no configuration here. Um, so again, just like I did in the previous video, you have to go in here and install uh, the C, C++ runner extension from Franek94. Um, this is the, the uh, kind of the VS Codium analog to Microsoft's extension pack. Um, thankfully, Franek94 was, you know, uh, was, was decent enough to, to, to bring this to the community here. When you go to install this, you're going to notice that it's going to install this code LLDB uh, dependency. Um, so fair, full and fair warning, it's not going to install just one extension, but two. And once they're installed, it typically requires a, a, um, a reload of the editor. It's not asking for one this time, but I am going to go ahead and make it reload anyways, just to be on the safe side. Um, doesn't take it too long to, to come up. And as you can see, the extension went ahead and created us a launch configuration. Um, and you'll notice that the extension still says that it wants us to use GCC. And, and similar to the previous video, the uh, debugger is set to CPP debug, which um, is not the debugger we're using either. So what do we have to do to configure this to use CLang? Well, um, for starters, let's 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 start by by fixing this problem here. And just like I did in the previous video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come out here to my home directory. I'm going to show hidden files if they're not already showing, and open the .bs code OSS folder. From there, I can go into the extension, into the actual extension folder belonging to Franex extension here, and open the templates folder. Now, from here, if I open that launch template, um, this is the file that the launch configuration is, is uh, rendered from. So if I change this here and go ahead and save it to LLDB, then I can close out of this. And now every project I start that uses this extension will do the same thing this will do. If I just delete all of this, it will recreate it. And this time it'll have the debugger. Um, so let's go ahead and start our compilation. Oops. Oh yeah, we didn't use the GCC compiler. Now let's go ahead and look at our properties file. You'll see here we, we have a, a configuration here. Let's try changing this to ceiling. Okay, this does not work. Still looks for GCC. So what do I need to do? Well, if you go into the settings file and you change it here on line two, specifically from GCC to ceiling, save it here. You'll notice before I even do anything else, if I open this file up again, it is already changed to ceiling. It generates this file from this file. And so it's a very straightforward process if you just know to edit line two here to meet your compiler. Once we've done that, um, we can go ahead and close out of all of that, go into here, Go ahead and try to start the compilation again. And as you can see, we get a successful compilation. Run it to be sure. There's my hello world. And since we already fixed the debugging problem and set it back to be LLDB, as you might guess, when I open the debugger, it will run. Now, this time, of course, I didn't set a, a breakpoint. So we didn't get the stack trace. But just for... Just for the lulls, we'll go ahead and set a breakpoint, rerun it, get our stack trace, and you can see it's all working nicely. Now, with that in mind, um, I hope I hope this helps those of you trying to set up VS Codium for C coding on a Linux system. Um, with that, I'll bid you farewell. Have a good day.